Matt Jack JW coming to you. I have the Lee hand press. This is a portable reloading press that does not require it to be mounted to a table. That is the beauty of this thing. Um, I myself, I'm a big reloader now. That's all I do. Um, I started doing that right away when I first started getting into shooting and shooting a lot. Um, of course, I have the uh, Dylan 650XL. It's a progressive press and it really cranks out rounds like faster than it, you know, any faster you pretty much got your own manufacturing company. <laughs> it's pretty fast. Um, you get into a nice rhythm and it can punch out some rounds. But this thing, you know, I've, I've had it for years and this is kind of where I started. It's a great little press. Um, it's about 11 inches long and it's really quite small. Um, it's no bigger than a, a really a, a big office stapler, really. Um, it's really neat. It's all metal. Um, you know, Lee makes really good stuff. Lee produces reloading equipment that is affordable and really good quality. And I will say this thing is very good quality. I've had it for a long time and I've reloaded a lot of rounds with this thing. Um, I got my Lee 4 die deluxe pistol set here for the uh, 44 caliber and uh, this is kind of what you get and just kind of go over it. Um, I know for those of you that already reload this is going to be kind of a real boring video for you. Um, probably tune it off. Or, um, you got your uh, your sizing and decapping die. Decapping means it's going to pop out that old primer on the back of your cartridge. You'll see so you won't have a primer no more. You'll have to put a new one in. And then um, you'll have your uh, belling and uh, powder through die. Uh, it basically, you know, it expands the, the mouth of the casing to accept the bullet so you don't shave off lead or whatnot. And then you have your seating uh, of your bullet die and then your crimping die. So it, it puts the factory crimp on it. Now, I, I do like to have the uh, seating and crimping die separate. I know some of the dies do it all at once. Uh, they'll seat and crimp. I like to have control over that step separately. Uh, that's just me. So, with this in mind, um, you know, you can take your primer, uh, I have a priming tool right here, and um, this thing, my primers don't fall out all over the place here, um, this is a Lee hand priming tool, this is, I've had this for a long time, it's very old, but uh, anyway, I'll go ahead and show you just real quick, so this, uh, this casing right here has already been sized and decapped, you go ahead and screw the uh, powder through and flaring or belling die. Basically what it does is it opens up the uh, mouth of the casing, screw that in there, and um, insert your casing, squeeze it together, and it's uh, basically now opened up the mouth of that casing, getting it ready for a bullet. Now um, the way I'm doing this, I do it this way, I've always done it this way. I just I set the die where the depth is on the uh, ring here. And uh, you normally can buy the this insert right here. That these actually, let's see if mine's too old, no. Okay, so it's a, you can see it's a one of those um, skip threads or whatever they want to call it. Um, and it just kind of, so it'll, it'll lock in and out of there. Um, I don't use it, I, I just, to me, it's unscrewed, whatever. If I'm gonna go this route anyway, and I'm expecting to spend a little time with it. So the case, uh, the casing is now belled. Take our little hand priming tool here, and you have your primer facing the correct way. Go ahead and load that in. I face it away from myself when I push the uh, primer in, and always wear safety glasses when you do this. Um, but I've never really had an accident, <laughs> right? Okay, so now you see I got the uh, primer in there. And then I have my source of powder. This is a Lee uh, disc thrower that was uh, a friend of mine just yanked this off his press. And I, I mean, this stuff is, you know, just makeshift. This is my own little backwoods uh, made up stuff. I mean, you can definitely do this a lot more uh, s together instead of just so haggard like I got mine. But it works. It works, you know. Now, I definitely would say invest into a loading tray. Uh, here is my loading tray right here. And I got all my bullets on. The simple thing is, I mean, you can take one of these out just to show you. Um, it sits the casing right there. I put my source of powder right over it. Throw the, uh, the correct amount of uh, charge in there. I got my charge. And then I got my bullets right here. You just go ahead and tack that on there. And um, let get it ready to go. And um, so I'm just going to get the, the bullet seating guy. Screw it in here. 
And I mean, you know, if you think about it, if you throw this in your bug out bag, if you, as long as you have your source of your your lead and your, you know, your uh, your powder source and your primers and stuff, I mean, you pretty much have bullets on the run wherever you go. Okay. So there, the bullet is seated to the correct depth. I'm gonna set it in there, and then um, I'm gonna get the um, the crimping die. What that does is it uh, now I gotta close up all the the edges on this because it's been expanded to accept the bullet so you put in the factory crimping die and that's why I like the D Lee 4 4 die set for this pistol stuff because it does come with that crimping die just insert it around give it a little squeeze and there it is and that's ready to go and that's a round right there and um, I got a whole bunch of them in the re reloading tray here but uh, yeah, I just kind of wanted to show this to you because this is a really cool option, you know, to have. If you definitely don't want to invest too much into reloading, you know, because presses can be expensive. Um, I think this thing, you know, at the time it probably ran me only like 30 bucks, 25 bucks. I'm sure it's a little bit more now, but not too much. Basically, you're talking about just getting your, your die sets, your, this is your press, your priming tool. Um, there's other companies that make it, but I really like, I've been always partial to Lee because they've been inexpensive and they've been very well built stuff and it works. So anyway, I figured I wanted to share that with you. I'm Batjack JW signing off for now. That is the Lee hand press.